What is up, ninjas? My name is Samworld, and today we're going to be embarking on creating a techno drop or loop, if you might consider that. Techno is a very repetitive genre, so in theory, this loop we're creating could be a track if we take away stuff, add stuff to it, and vice versa. The repetitiveness of techno makes it really good club music, but at the same time, some people that have ADD or into trap and these drops that are 30 seconds long um, don't like it for that exact reason. Some people enjoy the journey and whatnot. But today, the point is, is we're gonna be creating a drop. Now for this drop, guys, I'm not focusing on a certain artist style. However, I have taken it upon myself to be like, you you know what for this i want to do a sort of umec rolling bass as i know i made a rolling bass line tutorial for you guys which you guys can check out here as well but a lot of people didn't like that one because i guess they're more into that industrial umec style of rolling bass so for this video we are going to be going into how to create those with a bit of delay and a bit of processing as you're going to see this video is going to be very raw um, and we're going to be using exclusively the paradox sounds which is coming out at the end of march this is a techno sound bank i'm working for you guys for serum with 150 presets i'm currently at 115 so if you guys ever see a sound on the sign live stream and you want to see how these sounds are made you can stumble in as that's where i'm creating these sounds and bringing up the pack but without that being said guys again if you want to support the channel you can head over to evilsounds.com paradox is going to be out by the end of march and let's get started with this tutorial all right guys and welcome inside of ableton we're going to get straight to work on this techno loop that's essentially what it is or a drop i guess essentially techno is a loopable genre so if you make an eight bar loop you can turn that into a song as long as you arrange it and actually have a breakdown depending on what you want to go for in the future i do plan on making a video on making a breakdown to inspire you guys as well uh, help you beginners out on how to approach that but today we're going to be doing the drop now like i said we're exclusively going to be using the new sound bank coming out at the end of march i postponed it i want to get 150 sounds that are all good for the pack so that people can use it for years or months to come that is my goal with the pack now i've been pretty much referencing a lot of the techno stuff that has been on the beatport charts that has been killing it on the dance floors amelie lens umix specter hidden empire um joy Houser. i love a lot of that stuff so i've been using it as reference for pretty much what essentially would be the pack i hear a sound i make a similar sound to it or something different in that same style i do that to help make the sounds fit the genre of techno so for this we're going to be using just this and we're going to be going with this kit called my my which is going to sound a bit iffy at first but we're going to turn it into something better if you guys watch my video on how to make a techno kick you will know this first part but i am going to be doing things differently to kind of show you guys different routes that you could do and hopefully you find one that you like to use in your own tracks um so let's get straight to this so i do want to be in the key of a so I'm going to be using that key. So here you can see it's kind of changing. I figure out why it changes for those of you guys that watch my sound design live streams and creating the pack. It's because the mono legato, for some reason, when you have it set like that, it makes the kick sound different on every hit. So if we turn that up, it fixes our problem. I, 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 it's, it's weird why it does that. I don't understand. But what I'm going to do is add a saturator on this to get it to sound the way we need it to. And let's go down and off. Sounds pretty cool. Let's try maybe a hard curve, no drive. Let's do that. Let's gain stage down to negative six. Let's try a medium curve. Okay, I kind of like it there. So we're going to leave that as is. And from, from here on, we might come back to it. But now what we're going to do is pretty much essentially create our base. I want to go for a rolling base, which we're going to create from the kick, as well as a low end sub that we're going to create from a reverb. And that is going to be a key that I didn't touch upon in the video, except for the reverb portion. Okay. So the first A, we're going to add pretty much a simple delay. You can go with any delay you really like. And I suggest and I encourage you guys to experiment with different delays as many will have different features. The simple delay in Ableton is just very basic, uh, but you can do a lot of post-processing behind it. Now, when you usually return track, guys, you're sending the audio signal of this kick there and you still maintain the original signal. Very important because this allows you to be very clean with what you're doing. So in the returns, you want your effects to always be at 100% because the returns are going to be pretty much the effect volume. So here we're going to have this. And what I'm essentially going to do is link these guys up, go with one so that we get a very faster kind of delay and increase the feedback as wherever I want it. Once we have that, we're going to EQ that a bit. There we go. And let's get rid of the lows. And let's just get this right to where we want it to be. So maybe more feedback. I'm going to add a sidechain as well so that it doesn't impede with my kick. Get rid of this to the left a bit there. 
Essentially what this is, is kind of like a rolling bass. We're going to get rid of those lows. Again, I'm going to use a reverb here as well. See if we can go maybe down one more octave. All right, that sounds a little better. We got to get this right. It's always a bit of work, but once you get it, you're going to be grateful. It's, it kind of makes you work hard for it. Okay, cool. Let's check out our span real fast. We're going to add a span just to see how the low end is looking on that. Okay, cool. And now we're going to add our convolution reverb, and this is the magic part. So we're going to add a bit of that convolution reverb on this and get it to sound proper. Dry and wet, again, remember, at 100%. And we're going to lower the size or the decay maybe first to see if we can get it to sound right and play around with that. So we're going to send the kick there now. Okay. <laughs> it didn't sound that great, but we're going to have to EQ it. Um, of course, we're also going to have a sidechain, so we might as well add that sidechain. have it there just for now and um we're gonna add that eq the width is set to 100 percent. we can leave it there as long as we do a couple of things so i'm gonna do a bit of mid-side eq where the mono i don't want a lot of highs i mainly want it all low end there now on the side signal i do want to get rid of the the low information so i'm gonna do that there as well get rid of and now, depending on what you want in your sides, you can definitely leave the highs. Or you can, like, get rid of uh, a lot of them. There we go. And then on the mono, maybe a little bit more. Keep in mind, we do have that rolling bass. So we do have to take into account that the rolling bass is in the center of the mix. The rolling kick. Uh, so we got to make room for We're going to mono the kick as well, just to make sure nothing fancy is going on. I'm going to add the lows on the kick from negative 30 down. Okay. Let's see if we can maybe distort the... Uh the rolling bass just a bit more. Let's try an amp on it. You know, we just got to like experiment to get that right. And, th and that's going to be the key thing. I like that, but let's put it here. Signal flow is everything, so experiment. I like that. Let's see, maybe we can do a hard saturator. Okay, we'll leave it as is for now, but we'll come back to it. I want to add all the other other elements because that could also influence very well on how you approach the kick. You're like, it doesn't sound good, but the key thing is it has to sound good in the whole track or the whole loop. So that's going to be good for now. We'll leave it as is. Getting there. And now let's add maybe the, the offbeat hats that we're going to use for the track. So I'm going to keep this very simple. However, you know, a lot of times using loops is a good way if you suck at drum programming like I do. However, what I'm going to do is just go with the standard 909. Uh, drum uh, hats so we're gonna go with the open hat which every techno guy uses in their track and let's see if we can get this right here yeah there we go so it's gonna be there and we're just gonna do this so far get that to sound proper
Now we're going to add some close hats. Now you got to keep in mind that when you add close hats and they overlap with your open hat, ideally in the real 909, it would uh, there would be a gate that would shut the open hat up. So you're going to hear that happen right now. Okay, I'm gonna add another return track, which is gonna be a plate reverb, and I'm gonna use a little Alter Boy plate uh, for this. So we're gonna go with that and just set that there. And there we go. And I'll leave it maybe uh, one minute there. Let's do a low cut on it and just send the, the 909 there to be. All right, let's see if we get rid of that. Yeah, I like that more. I don't like how the gate closes the open hat i really want the open hat to be free so we're gonna do that now i did see i had the tr909 maybe we could use that to, to make a, a drum loop and let's try that out maybe it'll work a lot better so let's see is there like a techno one that they have a drive i like that so maybe we'll go with that and in the groove we can maybe use like a swing on it that will give it a bit of volume, uh, velocity changes to it. Uh, let's see if we can do maybe another one. Uh, that one was just too, yeah. Uh, that one, like, not too much, but just a... Let's see. Gotta look at the volume automations as well. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> nah, it takes away too much from it. Try this one. Now we just gotta get the volume louder. Let's put Cool, and let's see if we can add maybe just a bit of side chain to it. Not too much, but just a bit. So it's gonna be maybe like so. That's a very driving groove, man. And now we can get started on the fun stuff, which is using synths. So what I wanna add maybe the first thing is gonna be like ear candy shots here and there. That we can possibly use every maybe every two bars or something that would be something cool that we can have something that you make does a lot really good and a lot of the techno guys will have this seems repetitive but if you start to pay attention to the ear candy shots that's where the magic happens so we're going to the effect section of the pack let's lower the volume play around with the mata I don't want anything like that, so we will go with something else. Let's try something else. That would be some good background atmosphere for sure. Oh, this one sounds pretty I will right, we'll use this guy, but we're gonna use it in a way where I control it more because right now I don't want to just be at the dismay of this pattern. We'll try it here first and let's just do that. Now I'm gonna use an LFO tool that's gonna allow me to control that sort of like a gate and let's set it to a bar or two bars. And maybe I want it to happen, maybe, uh, nah, 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 let's do it one bar so we get a little bit more out of it. Let's do it every, maybe, let's try. Nah, man, let's just see, maybe on the offbeat. Okay, cool, let's add that play reverb. We're gonna cut some of the highs on it. If we play a lower octave, what happens to it? Get the 
Castle, yeah. The core is there. I'm gonna mono that down. I call it that maybe like an amp let's experiment a bit with it you know the sound is cool and all but maybe you, we can find something unique by adding an amp I like the amp but it takes away from it maybe let's use it at 50 percent Cool, let's add a bit of delay to that as well. So we'll use another return. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna use all returns for the reverb and delay. I feel like it's a lot cleaner, but in certain genres like big room and stuff, we do need to add it to, this, to the leads to kind of tone them down a bit, make them sound less harsh. Here, fuck it, we'll just go with like, you know, the standard stuff. So let's use an echo on that. And we'll just do like maybe a ping pong, since it's mono, we can create width with that and see how that sounds like. We'll use the, the standard. Okay, let's add an LFO on that. Let's do a bit of side chaining. Nothing too crazy, just a bit like so. Just in case we need it. Okay, cool. So that's going to be our effects one. Let's duplicate that. Get rid of this. All right. So next one, let's see what we add. Let's find some sounds that can inspire us. So maybe we can go with um, a lead this time. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. All right, let's see what else do we... That's kind of cool, like, uh... Nah, I want something a little bit different. Let's increase maybe reroll on that. Let's see, let's see if I can do it. Well, I'll play on the MIDI keyboard. Lower the reverb because we do have that shit going to the plate one, so it's a lot of fucking reverb. We'll call this the lead. Let's see. So we gotta remember the effects there are cool, but we gotta do some call and response. So we can't just have the lead going. Uh, we have to get to it. So. All right. Let's lower the mod for that break there. That sounds pretty cool. Let's see if we can find something else. Um, this one's called Lust, Double Lust. So I think it's like a Yumek inspired sound. Let's see. Oh God. That actually sounds pretty cool. Let's add it. Fuck it. Record that. There it is. All right, so let's just get that and uh, we'll leave the, the kind of swingy vibe to it so that it sounds like real. Plate that shit. All right, cool. Let's add more to this. So, um, you know, let's make sure not to overdo it. I'm just going through the. 
So this is another LFO free changing. Let's add a bit of distortion, let's see. Nah, let's move that. Maybe the gritty one. Yeah, I like it, but maybe you can find some. <laughs> maybe we could do an acid sound, so we could try. Okay, let's try that. I think the LFO tool is killing the sound at certain points, so we're gonna leave it like so. And I, I remember the the melody was like. Boom. And we're gonna just along it. And then just standard melody. Get rid of some of the highest. There we go. Um, we do have that delay still, so let's get rid of the delay. I think it's B. Dope, dope. Now let's add one more thing. I don't want to kill the beat and we can add like a clap of anything, but um, we're going to add one more fucking sound in this madness uh, that we have going on. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe like a standard like bass or some shit. I don't know. Let's see the basses. Too much to be very wrong. Maybe that's a bit too much. <laughs> Maybe a pad would fit a lot better, honestly. I think I'm, I'm too crazy with the fucking bass, so that's my fault. But let's go with a pad. Yeah, so we're just going to add a pad there for atmosphere. It's in the key of A, so we're just... Let's 
get more like Just that. All right, cool. Um, I don't know why. I just want to add one more lead just to show off the sounds in the pan. <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, there's definitely used to be like some fucking white noise, but I don't have any, any fucking white noise in there. But um, let's see. Maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. Fucking pluck maybe could be cool. We're gonna add like a fucking pluck, just like fuck it. We'll add it with an ARP and we'll call it a day on this, guys. But, you know, it's all about having fun. You know, we can add rides in there as well, which I think I'll add as well. But, um, I mean, it's all about having fun and just getting everything to sound right. The key thing with techno, though, is for sure, it's like, for instance, the acid. I'm a bit iffy on it just because it has a lot of highs. So we would honestly, like, maybe cut a bit more of that. So, it, because a lot of techno sounds more closed. Yeah, it's very open with high frequencies, but more closed tends to sound a lot better. So. Let's make this high. Bit of auto panning, maybe. Yes, sir. Exciting the crap out of that, though, so it doesn't fucking overtake and kill the rhythm. We still want this to sound like. There we go. Let's put it in the here, though. see this uh let's add the right actually um tr909 it's right here Honestly, that fucking ride is destroying everything, man. Um, but hopefully you guys understand, you know, what we're doing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. We used the TR-909 from Rolling Cloud, but you don't need it. Ableton has one. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much how I would approach making a techno idea. And once I have this and I can turn that into a full-out song, definitely need to work more on the mix. But I wanted to show you guys the processing on how we would approach it, on how we would do stuff. Um, where the fuck is that symbol at? It's right here, dude. We, we need to fucking, like, tune the ride more. I wish it had like a decay fucking knob on it. Maybe we can just like get the get it to go more down like All right, guys, I'll end it there. We can keep going and going all fucking day, but I had a lot of fun making this for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, it inspires you guys to try some things we tried here. And I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial. You guys take care. Peace out.